This is going to be an introduction to masking, the non-Luma mask masking. This is the final composition. I'm going to pre-comp these two things. I'm throwing out the title for now. It's always saved up here in project. I'm going to pre-compose these two layers into just something called space scene, making sure to move all my attributes on the inside. So this is my space scene. And the space scene, just like before, things orbiting around one another with the background and the glow. Next, I have this PNG file without any alpha in it, and I want to knock a hole in here to see the space scene, and then push the camera into both. To do that, select the object. When you select an object, which is selecting a layer, and then you use the shape tool, and I'm going to use a circular shape for now, this shape tool turns into a masking tool. Holding down the shift key and dragging out, and there's a hole for now. But it gave me the opposite of what I needed. Going to that image layer, here's the mask that has been added to it, and just clicking on inverted. And there's my hole for my viewport looking outside. I want to move this mask over. I'm going to select the path and then use the move tool and the keys on the keyboard to just move it up and down, left and right. If you deselect it and you want to get back to moving the mask, just go under the layer here, click on mask, all the points are selected and then you can move them over. There's other options on the mask that will be covered such as feathering. So maybe it's a viewport that just opens up like like that, which is nice. The opacity. No opacity. We see the whole scene, 100% opacity. We can see through it and the expansion of the path to grow it, which would be another way to open this up like that, which I think I'm going to do for animation. So starting way down here with expansion, clicking on the stopwatch, going forward 10 frames, and then just dragging that slider, increasing the values of the pixels until I hit the edge like this. And now here's this animation. Now we have a viewport in space. To push in, I'm going to create a null object. So right click, new, null object. Null object has what it says, it has nothing in it. It's used as a placeholder, something to grip the other layers onto. If I press the S key, there's scaling, but scaling around zero gives you zero, gives you this artificial nothingness, but that's okay. I'm going to select these two layers and pick whip them to the null object, like that. And now under the null object, at frame, let's say here is where it'll start pushing in. So this is where our camera push in starts. And then I'll go another 20 frames out. That was control shift and the right arrow twice. And I'll increase the scale. And that's our start. Now I just have to reposition it. So it opens up, pushes in, and probably should do both at the same time, opening up and pushing in. Fix that in a moment by selecting these two keys and just dragging them off to the left side like this. So now the push in of, or the scaling null starts sooner like that. So you got one action happening and then the other action starting. A little overlapping of actions helps smooth out animations. And then the final thing is the centering of the image, which would be starting where the scale starts right here. I'm going to press the P for position for that null object like that. I'll then press the U key on that null object twice to expose all the keys. And my next position point will be over here. So clicking this arrow on the scale property will jump the playback head to the next scale moment, which means when I move this with the arrow key down, since this layer, null object layer is selected, it's in focus. So now I could just push it down. I'll hold down the shift key to move it down by tens. And maybe I'll move it over to recenter it visually like this. 
And that's our animation. We can add easing. And I'll ease in the scale, selecting the scale key, right click, keyframe assistant, ease in. Let's take a look at that. Maybe the opening of the viewport can happen a little quicker. I'll go back to the spaceport layer, press the U key, and I'll also maybe add a keyframe assistant, ease in, and drag that a little quicker like that. And there's our space moment. If you don't like your mask anymore, no problem. Select the mask right here and then press the delete key. Now you could go back to masking. Maybe you want to try a different shape. How about that star shape? I see, see that right there. So maybe I have a star mask. And then clicking on inverted moving it to the center and also doing expansion on it opening it up like this clicking on expansion dragging it way down like this going forward a few frames that's 10 frames and it opens up 